Today is Easter Saturday. Much is said in the Gospels to lead up to Good Friday and Easter Sunday, but little is written about Saturday. In Luke it says, On the Sabbath, the disciples rested according to the commandment. But we can safely assume the disciples were in the upper room. They had gathered together behind closed doors, for fear had gripped them. They had not understood when Jesus spoke about his suffering and death when he was with them. It must have seen that all hope was gone. Now we can sometimes be in this place as well, living without hope. Living without hope is a life of fear. In Matthew's Gospel, he gives us a little bit more insight into what is taking place. According to his account, it was on Saturday the Pharisees and the chief priests came to Pilate and asked for a guard to be posted at Jesus' tomb, saying, Sir, we remember how that imposter said while he was still alive, After three days I will rise. Therefore order the tomb to be made secure until the third day, lest his disciples go and steal him away and tell the people he has risen from the dead. And the last fraud will be worse than the first. It seems that the disciples were not the only ones who were afraid. Perhaps the unusual circumstances surrounding Jesus' death, darkness covering the land, an earthquake, the tearing of the temple curtain, gave Jewish leaders reason to be concerned. The Pharisees were obviously aware of the predictions Jesus had made about his resurrection, although they were not necessarily inclined to think that his words may come true. After all, he had been referred to as an imposter and fraud. Many people are in this same place today, still questioning the truth of Jesus. Yet we know Sunday is coming. As Christians, we live with the knowledge that Jesus has risen and he and he's promised to come again. The promise gives us hope, not just for today, but every day of our lives. The resurrection will prove to all the truth of who Jesus is. So do not be afraid, says the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me will live, even though he dies. And everyone, and everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? Join us tomorrow for our Sunday service, where I'll speak about how the third day changed everything. On this Saturday... The question is, do you believe in Jesus Christ?